Lambrose takes it comfortably on his chest. Sets sail from 50. The goal umpire doesn't have to move. Jezza Lambrose. What a mark. He soared like an eagle at the top of that pack. It is unbelievable scenes at Souter Oval. He's kicked two in a minute and nobody can stop Lambrose today. He's like a cheater on steroids out there. Welcome back to another game day vlog, everyone. The first game day vlog back at home. How good is this, Steph? Yeah, it's good to have you back here at Souter after six weeks munching down pasta. So it's good to be back at home. Pretty much live here when I'm back home. So I love this ground so much, but as we can see, it's it's a bit of a gloomy day. It's actually rainy out here. We'll accept it. We'll move on. It's all about a mindset today. I think hopefully we should get a win. We need a win. It's a must win game. How are you feeling with your game today? Out on the wing, it's not the best conditions, but I'm feeling good. This is my wing. I own this wing. Like. I've actually bought this real estate on the half of the ground pretty much. So <laughs> I don't move off this wing. So I'm feeling good. It's going to be wet. It's going to be tough. Against City, we should smack them. But um, I'm keen And I would love to see you kick a couple today. Oh, I know yeah, you said I'm you due. would last week and you didn't. Yeah. So I think today's the day you must get at least on the end of one. And I want to see a good celebration as well. Even if you're 100 up, you've, got, right. to, you've got to do it. I'll do it for you boys back at home. Big celebration right. if we win. So I'm going to take you guys through the morning and we'll come back to this ground, show the 19s and the seniors and let's get razzed up for the day. Here we have it. Another week, another pre-game feed. Today we have got lock, some chicken parmies, steak, rice, and also brewing up some sweet potato in here. So he's gonna be getting in a lot of carbs with the sweet potatoes and the rice. Nice whole sources of carbohydrates, excluding gluten. Also a lot of protein from the meat and the chicken that is also cooked in butter. So healthy fats there. Lock should be absolutely prime, no excuses. Let's smash City tomorrow. Okay, boys. Today we are playing St. Kilda City. It is a must-win game. There are four games to go this year, and in order for us to make top three, which we need to, in order to make the granny, we need to win every single game. Now, St. Kilda City are absolutely in a rubble right now. They lost all their players. I don't know what's happened at the club, but they're going to go down to Div 2 next year. We're going to smash them. So, we're not going to worry about the game day analysis of the opposition. However, I did write down my goal. I've actually forgotten my diary in the other room. Excuse me. But I promise you, in my diary, I put one goal today. If you know me, I always put three goals. But I put one today, and that goal was to have 800 meters game. That is my only goal. Lately, I've been chipping the ball around. Last week, I was chipping it around and butchering it. I wasn't butchering it that much, but I'm sick of chipping it around, guys. I am a running player. I need to get meters gained. I need to be influential and get it long. So that's my goal of the day. 800 meters gained. Pretty straightforward. Boys, a couple of you have been DMing me photos of your chicken and rice for lunch on game day. Nothing makes me happier. You already know the chicken and rice is cooked. Have a look at this, guys. Literally chuck lots of salt in there to help prevent cramps and then also add like some really really pure tomato based sauce i'll show you exactly what i mean yeah this kind of stuff down here so this like passata it's pretty much like just tomatoes so no seed oils no like artificial sweeteners flavors or anything like that so that stuff is going to be super super plain it's going to be really good carbs good protein before the game and it's going to make you feel energized literally i used to be so inconsistent in games because I would have really poor food. I'd have like two chicken sandwiches for lunch. I know you're doing it. You're at home probably having a chicken roll, a chicken sandwich, some kind of bread, like even just like toast. But I promise you guys, just try it. Just try chicken and rice. Just try it one week and I guarantee you will see huge changes. Now, if there's one section of this video that you can't skip, it's this one here because I'm about to give you guys a free masterclass on how to play wing. Now, you probably think, Lambros, what do you know about wing? Well, I have a little bit of credibility. I was team of the year wingman last year and I played some good footy there, a lot better than last year even on the wing this year. So I do have some credibility and I'm gonna show you guys right now how to play wing. So don't skip this segment, it'll be really helpful. Even if you don't play wing, it can still be really helpful in some running patterns. So stay tuned. All right, boys, here we have it. So we're playing on the wing today, all right? Let's say we're playing on the left side of the ground. Now, what we wanna do is draw an imaginary line down the middle of the ground. We wanna own that left side of the ground. So every time the ball goes into our back line, right? We wanna be this outlet kick out here, right? So we always wanna be 
owning this space, all right? But the key is to the win, right? Especially when you're on a big ground. Don't get sucked along to that last 10 meters just inside the boundary. You're gonna run so much more and you're not gonna get reward for effort. So you really wanna own this space here. This space, I like to call it my bitch. This is where I do all of my really good defensive and offensive running, okay? The final thing I'm gonna show you quickly is stoppages, right? So with stoppages, let's say the ball is on the offside wing, okay? So the ball up is here, right? What you want to do is, because you're the off-ball winger, you want to stand in the corridor about 15 meters off the stoppage, right? And slowly seep into that contest. So that means that you can go offensive if the ball spits out and your team has it, or straight back to goal, defensive. We want to play really direct, guys. We don't want to run in zigzag patterns all day. It's going to tire us out. It's not what we want. So we want to be really direct in this case. The final thing I want to quickly show is if the ball is on our side, right? So if the stoppage is there, what we want to do is 15 meters off the stoppage in line from that contest with our ball. So in line with the ball and the goal square, 15 meters off the stoppage. And that way we can go, we can cut like on the outside, we can cut on the inside and really put on a clinic. Um, at the moment, I'm kind of just chilling out a little bit. I did a little bit of meditation, a tiny bit of reading this morning. And now I'm kind of just chilling out, hyping up a little bit and slowly just increasing that height. Also just shaved the hair a little bit. Let me know what you think of that. It's actually pretty rank at the moment. It looks like a little bird's nest back there, but might need to run a comb back. We have arrived and it is raining. It is a bit of a miserable day out here, but it's not gonna be miserable for us because we are gonna put on an absolute clinic today. Get the notepads out, ladies and gentlemen. Hunt. We're gonna go out there today, boys, and we're gonna fucking hunt them. They are the hunter today, boys. We're gonna come out there and we're gonna lay that pressure from the first bound for you. And big rhino, he's gonna lead you out today, boys. Fuck yeah! <laughs> boys, he deserves it. But it's not just rhino. Each and every one of you boys are gonna go out there today, play for the jumper, play for your mates. There's not many games left. Let's make the most of every opportunity we have between now and the end of the season to enjoy our fucking footy with our mates. But go out there and fucking be physical with the boys. Bring the right mindset from that first bounce. Go out there, fucking hit body, boys, and let's get a win, all right? Come on. Let's <laughs> Balls out to be run. Bentley boys come that way. We'll run. Stop. What? what they're, they're fucking little. Why are we scared? Take the body. Any time there is a body there to be fucking taken. Take it. It's, we're half half tackling. It's not fucking hard. These guys are slow as. It's an easy thing to fix and fucking bring the pressure. Yeah, the, pre the pressure's there, but you just like to want to fucking count that. Like, like we're, we're Love it. And if you're going to take that tackle, we'll take that. Uh, so, Spindle's first game, mate. Um, what's your predictions for your um, touches this game? Uh, 25 on. 25 <laughs> on. Yeah, That's a good amount, I reckon. <laughs> um, you might, be, might have to take some of Vento's touches to get that, um, that number up, but... That's good, mate. Any snags today? Hopefully, if I can get one in front of the hill, then we're fucking not we'll two. Be about. One, one, and I'm happy. <laughs> two, two's just greedy, two, greedy. Two, yeah. Oh yeah. No. Hopefully, the boys that are around me. But so, where where are you playing today? I think horse has me on the wing and forward, so opportunity should come. But yeah. No pint. No pint. Yeah. On the mean? on the pine. On the pine. Oh, pine time. Uh start off. I think so. Yeah. 
That's right. That's where all the champions begin, mate. <laughs> like Jordy, let's. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I start, mate. Um, yeah. All right. Good luck, mate. Thanks, mate. Enjoy. It is lunchtime at the moment. I'm at the ground, 10.30. Chicken and rice, and I've forgotten a fork. Bro, I can't believe this. I'm actually gonna have to just eat it with my hands. It's pretty grim. But, um, yeah, it's just the way it's gonna have to go, boys. So, cheers. Alrighty, boys, I'm feeling a little bit adventurous right now. I have got some smelling salts ammonia. So this is the stuff you use before a maximum lift. Now, I'm trying to pop one of my max lifts up here. I used to do a little bit of powerlifting. Fun fact about me, boys. Anyways, let's do a little bit of a review. So this stuff absolutely G's you up. I don't know the pay though fees behind it, but essentially it like does something with the oxygen, I think, in your brain and just dials you right in for a big lift. So let's give it a go. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. <laughs> my eyes are like watery right now. Insane, boys. Insane. You got to get on that before a max lift and you will absolutely dominate. Moment of truth, boys. Can I find my socks and shorts this week? This is Find Your Equipment with Lambros. Alrighty. Let's get into it. What do we have here? Oh my God. Shit you not. Did not place them there that that is actually a fluke there are my socks now the black shorts guys oh this is a nightmare um oh that could be on oh no way no way oh no way i've done it already it's gonna be a good day the pre-game preparation begins two and a half hours outside of the game obviously you guys know we have a banana this banana is pretty reasonably sized i would say um, you know, it's not always about the size. Size doesn't matter, boys, as we all know. Uh, and obviously the most important ingredient, the bee juice. So absolutely smashing this down before the game. Really, really quick carbs. You guys know. And this one I've got this week is actually authentic honey. So this is literally the best stuff you can pretty much put in your body. Um, it's, it's really good honey. So it's organic, really, really good. The level up from that is like literally the, the honey from the actual... What's, what's it called? The little things of bees, mate. The nectar. The nectar. <laughs> Literally honey from the nectar. So essentially it's really good stuff. And finally, we have the diary. So make sure you take this to the game and have a look at it at half time. It's really, really valuable, I think, just to have a look at what you need to do, which is great. You guys may be wondering, Lambros, what about the fruity socks? I'm one step ahead of you. We have gone with the Rudolph socks today. I'll oh, interview Snow Bear. He's just hanging out with me. We're getting up today. Yeah, we are. He knows we're getting up today. And what are your thoughts on the game day vlogs lately? Oh, there hasn't been as many as what you want there to be. All right, well, they're coming back. Don't worry, Snow Bear. It's all right. And are you going to come to my game today? Yeah, he's coming. He's going to be there front and center. Now we are headed to the game and I'm going to take you guys with me as always. Show you some interesting stuff before the game. So let's enjoy it. Game day equals the best day of the week. Boys, we've arrived and look how sunny it is. Where has this come from? It is unbelievable. What a day. Lambo's back on the home den. Boys, I'm telling you, Lambo's is 50% better on the home track. We are on for a good day today. Have a look at this pitch. An absolute bowling alley right now. Hi, right, boys. One thing really important for a game is... <laughs> start again, start again. It's a lamb road map. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another game day vlog, everyone. This is so exciting. Lambros, number six, playing on the wing. I just got a cheeky handball there. This is the fourth last game of the season, guys. And in order for us to make top three, we need to win every single game from here on in. So as you can see here, I've already got the run going, trying to get that 800 meters game and just hitting a little target, which is great. So back to the finals kind of discussion. I reckon we're a serious chance this year. We had heaps of players go to Europe, including myself. But now all the boys seem to be back up and running, which is great. That one there, I just got smashed, kind of. Um, didn't hit the kick, so I was a little bit disappointed in that one. And you'll see the first half of my game, my confidence was a little bit flat. And 
this kind of meant that I wasn't using the ball as well as what I usually would use it. So just know that like if you are having a relatively flat game and you know your confidence is down like nothing to stress about you can always pick it up so as you can see that one there i kind of stabbed at it on the left peg and just missed that one but that's all right like i don't really mind that and at the moment obviously i haven't touched a ball in you know a month i'm just trying to really get my touch up at training which is great so I'm still working hard around the contest, um, got a little handball out there, and still just trying to get myself around the footy. So I haven't had that much of the ball yet, but I think in the first quarter, I finish up with around eight or nine touches, which is really good. So if you can get, you know, at least six touches in that first quarter, that's going to set you up for a really good day just to get your confidence up that you're around the ball. Um, this one here, so I kind of ran around him, got a handball, got the handball, I kind of got like whacked as I got rid of it, but didn't mind that one, that was alright, and I'm just trying to really like get the ball deep, because I know I have noticed lately that I am not using it as well, so I think if you're not using the ball as well as what you think you can, just run, like run your 15, 20 meters, take a bounce if you need to, and get it to just a one-on-one -on -one contest, like play the percentages, and also just focus on things such as one percentage, so like a lot of bumps, mothers, tackles, stuff like that. During this game, I think my one percentage were actually pretty good, which is great news, and um, just uh, getting a bit of reward for effort. I've pushed forward, and I'm thinking, all right, we are 40 meters out, maybe even 35 on a, in a bit of an angle. I was pretty confident from here. I've had a lot of set shots from this spot, especially on this ground. I'm always at this ground kicking the ball. As you guys probably know from the TikTok, always kicking the goals here. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of my routine, but this is pretty much towards the end of the first quarter and we are smashing St. Kilda. So we're literally up by 42 points and I hit it well. I actually hit it quite well and I just missed, but... I wasn't happy with that, man. Like, I feel like if you finish those opportunities, it makes a good quarter into like an amazing quarter. So that first quarter was pretty decent and that would have made it into like a really, really good solid start. But I just knew I had to come out in this second quarter and take the most of my opportunities. So got a little kick there, which was nice and hit the target. Um, just want to touch on a quick comment here. So how, how have I only just found this channel? Even though I don't play footy, it's really good like for the local insights. So yeah, it's awesome that some of you guys are just finding this channel now. Obviously, you know, most people haven't seen this channel yet, but it's so cool that it is starting to blow up, especially on the TikTok. It's it's really starting to go. But um, really appreciate those kind of comments. So please comment down below just your thoughts on the game day vlog, what you want me to, you know, show you more of or educate you guys more on because... Um, obviously I have been playing footy for a couple of years now. I have played footy at a decent standard as well at VFL and TAC Cup level. So, um, I do know a couple of things about footy, but, um, yeah, just still working. Obviously you can always improve. Uh, I just got that little kick away there on the left peg again. So I have used the left foot a little bit in the first half and it's getting towards the end of the second quarter here. So second quarter was a little bit more quiet than the first quarter, but it was still pretty decent. And guys, we're almost up by 100 points in the first half. St. Kilda City are absolute shambles right now. I don't know what's happened to their club, but yeah, they they literally beat us in the final last year. So this is a rivalry game. We don't get along our two clubs, but um, it was disappointing that they didn't really come to show. That one there, I tried to get around him, but I just kind of butched it a little bit. Um, and I kept working. So if you see me here working across... Number six, like really, really good work ethic. That's what I've been working on and getting that handball. So I think that goes to show like if you are going to work really, really hard across the ground, try to get as close to the footy as what you can to make sure that you do get used and use your voice as well because voice is so important in a game of footy. Now, I had a couple of young chaps really supporting me and you guys will see them in a moment. They're actually behind the goals and they were getting around me so much. Um, I came off during the fourth quarter and I was chatting to them, but um, they were getting around Lambros, which is great. And um, I saw a couple other boys there as well earlier on in the day, which is awesome. So I love it when you guys come out to the Lambros footy games and always don't be afraid to say hello because Steph and I absolutely love when you guys come up to us and ask us questions. And, you know, if you ask us for a photo, we absolutely love it. We'll repost it on our stories. So as you can see, guys, with this game, St. Kilda City, like, they are not a good side. I'm playing on the wing, and they are not necessarily tagging me, but they're running, like, really close to me. Just quickly, that one there. Got the shark, and my set shot confidence was down, so I played on and dobbed it. 
was so keen. So I've got my confidence up here. Start of the third quarter, taking an intercept mark and just going bang. So I'm really, really G'd up at that point. But yeah, as, as I was saying, St. Kilda City, they were kind of running with me. So I didn't really have that much space, but I knew I had to take it on. So as you can see here, I'm taking it on. I'm doing what I do best and I'm getting it long, man. Like that 800 meters gained. Long to the top of the square is where your big tall forwards want the footy. I'm telling you now, that's where they want it. So just put it there as much as you can. Didn't get a goal out of that one, but didn't really matter because as long as it was deep, you know, it's going to be hard for them to transition from end to end anyways. So as you can see, guys, I'm still running like... Got a little chip kick there. I wanted the handball back, but didn't get it. I'm still working. I'm still working. I want another handball received, but didn't get it. But that's all right. I'm really grinding. Like, honestly, watching back on this footage, like, I would love to see how many Ks I actually ran. I reckon it would be quite a while. Um, and the umpire paid on the full there. How I, I don't know how that was on the full. I was like, I was like chatting to him like, man, like I literally ran the ball out. Like it didn't go near my foot. That's all right. Still grinding away at this point. And I took a really good mark here. One of the best marks I've taken all year. I literally got on that guy's shoulders. And the umpire said he he marked the ball. Oh, I've got the ball in my hands. Like, how, how did he mark the ball? Like, he, he didn't touch the footy. And I've literally got up on him. But that's all right. I didn't mind. Like, our team's obviously dominating. But it's good just for my confidence even taking that mark in the first place, which is awesome. So as you can see here, I'm in the goal square here, pushing forward again, and I get a high tackle. So kind of dropped a little bit, put that elbow out, get pushed to the ground. They give me a little bit of lip at this point. And I'm thinking, you know what? If I can kick this goal, that's two goals in one quarter and a massive quarter. I reckon I've taken about four bounces this quarter and it's been really good. So super, super positive. I had a chat with my brother at halftime and he was talking to me about my game and a couple of my running patterns. So I just needed to fix a couple of things. And there we have it. That is my second goal. The little kids behind the goal, loving it. And the boys get around me again, which is great. So really good for the confidence again. And I'm just thinking at this point, I've just got to keep working. So I'm working on the outside on the wing and look at me, just take this guy on. So that's exactly what I want to do. Like just take players on, which is great. And uh, we're still dominating here, which is awesome. Third quarter, like we're just absolutely putting it on these guys. So super keen for this last quarter. As I was playing this, going into the last quarter, I'm thinking this is going to be the biggest win I've ever played in. And it, uh, it actually ended up being the biggest win I've ever played in. But they were still like decent. Like they were putting on good pressure. We were just way, way too good for them. And this is me trying to hit up one of our big forward line players there. It kind of goes a little bit over his head. But we're still working. Our small forwards are doing a great job here. And that guy, he was literally running with the ball all day. I reckon he would have had like 25 touches, but like no kicks. He was just handballing it all day. I don't know what was going on there. This 40, watch him handball. He takes everyone on and then he'll handball it. Yeah, <laughs> but good on him, man. Like he was trying his heart out. Got the ball here, saw an inside one and just gave the handball. That was a good handball. Nice and clean handball. That's the kind of stuff we absolutely love to do. Um, just late in the game, guys, just remember to keep working. Like, I feel as though I used to zone out heaps, especially towards the second half of games. And, you know, it just wasn't great. I just was never consistent. So if you just keep working and, you know, being present in the moment, it really helps with your performance. So that was me there. I just got smashed after I kicked it. I was getting hit a little bit after I got rid of it. Um, and then I just hit up our tall forward. Got a 50 meter penalty actually, because I think he may have pushed me down after it and then gave the umpire a bit of stick as well. But this is Manny. He's going for like his 10th goal. So I, I literally end up kicking. I won't give it away. Uh, you'll see in the interview after the game, but he kicked a lot of goals. He's a serious, serious player, which is great for his confidence towards finals as well. Uh, one more final thing, guys. If you haven't already hit up our socials, I'm sure you have, but check out Lambros Fit on TikTok and Instagram. Our Instagram's still slacky. You know? We haven't even hit 1,700 followers yet, but it's still doing really, really well, which is great. And our TikTok's um, starting to go off a little bit. I think we're on around uh, maybe 5,500 or something. Roundabouts there, which is cool. So I'm still getting some kicks, guys. I'm still doing like some really good stuff. And I'm still running with the footy. So play towards your strength. If you're a tall player, make sure you keep working on your marks. Like I reckon it's really good to make 
whatever you're good at elite. You're better to work on that than just, you know, if I'm not the best at ground balls, work on ground balls, obviously, but don't just have to do them all day. Like if you're good at running like I am here, obviously at sprinting, work on it and get so elite at it. So this is the end of the game, guys. I've finished with 26 disposals, 11 score involvements, two goals myself, and 112 super coach points. Now let's get back to the vlog. We are with Manny, an absolute star for today. Now, mate, I'm going to count your goals. I don't have enough fingers, mate. <laughs> 11 goals. Tell yeah. us how you feel. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Like, I mean, it's not an opportunity you get very often, but luckily the boys are looking for me pretty late. So, um, particularly in that last quarter. So, I was a bit nervous at the end there, like, because the boys kept looking for me. I kept missing. They were, I kept going to that flank and yeah. you kept bloody missing them <laughs> left. But, um, yeah, pretty lucky that uh, a few just fell into my lap and the boys kept kicking them to me. Mate, you're an absolute star. And tell us the feeling when you kicked the 10th, mate. What was it like? Uh, it was it was pretty special. Like I said, like it's not something that you get to do very often, but uh, you know, like just just the boys sort of getting around me. It felt like I kicked my first goal again. So it's a special feeling. It's not one that everyone gets to sort of feel, but um, yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice to just get the boys get around me and shoot a lot of years. But yeah, no, it was good. It was good. I really appreciate everyone looking after me and. Uh, yeah, it was good. You smashed them, mate. It's a pleasure to play with you. No, You're thanks, the mate. funniest bloke on the side. I don't and, um, know about that. <laughs> tell me what the, the recovery looks like. This is the last question. What does the recovery look like tonight? I've seen you with the vape already. <laughs> about five minutes after the game. What are we doing tonight for the lugs? Um, I think I'm actually having a pretty quiet one because we got oh, we right. got a few big ones sort of coming up. Awesome, mate. I love your boots. They're doing it for you. I might have to retire them after one week. No, I'll buy my five k Hey, I'm Matt Donald. Let's go. The goes. Two massive wins today. And the Lambros. We're going to 100k. And uh, Steph, so obviously everyone wants to hear about my recovery. What are you going to cook me up? Slash, what am I going to help you cook me up for dinner tonight? We're going to have some burrito bowls. We've got some free range chicken mints. Have to go the free range. And why, is it, why do you need to go free range? No added hormones. No added pesticides. This is what you want to eat. The good quality food. We've got some sweet potato carbs. We're going to get some salsa on it. We're going to find ourselves some juice. I like might get a power rating with juice, so. Another amazing win by the boys. I don't think I've ever played in a win that big. Yeah, that was a huge win today. I don't think I've ever seen a game of local footy like it. It was actually a training drill at some point. Really good. Good for my confidence to get back in the game, running, kicked a, kicked a couple goals, and just, just had a good time, which was the main thing. What got you going in that third quarter? Because something happened at halftime, I reckon. Yeah. Something different in the water, and all of a sudden, you came out firing in that third. Well, the old man actually came up to me and told me a little secret. I'm not going to give that secret away because it's a, it's a special one, just a gameplay tactic. It helped me so much in the second half. And Steph got me dialed in. He grabbed me, jumper punched me in the room saying, fuck, enjoy it, and dial in. And in that third quarter as well, I think you ran off the ground, and I saw you over by the fence for five minutes, like, with a sharpie in hand, what was going on over there? Oh, a couple of the the young the young boys they um they wanted me to sign their footies, so I think I'll you know I'll be copping it by the boys at training for that one. I think the coaches were like, "What the hell are you doing?" But they were getting around me. That Lambo is like, "Can we have your boots? Can we have your jumper?" I'm like, "Boys, I'm in the middle of the game. I can't give you my boots or jumpers." But yeah, if you guys ever come to the game, get around Steph, get around myself. We absolutely love it. We'll always make the time. And I was scared for a moment there. You're actually going to lose your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's too funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought, they, I thought they wanted your footy boots, but it's all part of it. So thanks so much for getting around us. Exactly Another right. awesome win. And the dingoes, we're marching on to September. It's not far away now. Yeah. You must be getting excited. I am so excited. My body is primed. If you want to get yourself a program, Check out the link in the description and we'll pop it up next to Seth's head. Yeah, honestly, it's so worth it. If you want to win a flag this year and play well in finals, it's not far away. So get yourself a program and you'll yep. be absolutely primed for finals. Definitely drop a comment down below as well. Getting around the game day vlogs. We love when people comment, asking questions. We try to reply to everyone as soon as possible. We so. do. If you're one of those boys who I signed the footies for, send me a photo of the footy. I'll repost it on my story. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to dial in. in.